everyone, Peter Lisiaga here, along with Miss Lisiaga, and we're heading to DKC. Very excited to uh, teach today. I'm excited, excited, excited. So how are you feeling today? Pretty good? Pretty good. You're eating your little, little munchies, but that's okay. Tired's, yeah. tired's Two okay. Two hours of sleep. Two hours of sleep. It's like it's that tough. sometimes. Yeah. I, I hate when that happens, but mm -hmm. it's like that sometimes. Just go with the flow, but we'll get to DKC. We'll cinch our belts. That's tie our belts and then just teach and change some lives. So my thought today, I was thinking, well, we can chat about our little 11 minute drive. People are going back to school today. So uh, we have uh, maybe a little bit of traffic there, but it's 11 minutes still, 11 minutes. But I was thinking to talk about martial arts, free martial arts, free martial arts. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I know we teach with professional martial artists. We are, earn our living teaching martial arts, but martial arts in and of itself is actually free. The knowledge of it. I, know, I, I remember when I first started martial arts, it was in the community center in the projects that I grew up in. One of the first, I mean, that's like the second time I did martial arts. First time was, was free in the Catholic school that I went to from the gym teacher that that did judo and uh, we did judo we did a lot of walks a lot of the exercises that the judo practitioners did and I'm, I'm sure we did some throws because we did have mats I remember that but it was free well okay my mom did pay for uh, my schooling at the Catholic school but my mom here's I don't know if you know this that your grandma paid for my schooling in Catholic school by cleaning uh. the rectory and where the nuns slept she was she, oh. that's how she paid for our schooling she cleaned yeah. and so i bet you didn't know that no. <laughs> my mom was a hard worker so um, anyway that paid for the martial arts and access to the martial arts but basically uh it's free and also when i went to the community center there was a martial arts instructor brown belt under uh grandmaster tiger kim who's been who's passed away of course and uh, uh, but his brown this brown belt taught there, and uh, my friend had uh, said knocked on my door. We lived on the same floor in the projects, and said, "Hey, they're doing karate at the community center, and it's free. You want to do it?" I had no idea what it really was. So I said, "Sure, I'll go." And then, but it was free. And over the years, as I trained martial arts. Most of the training that I did, I really didn't pay for. I remember I, I paid for membership down in Florida when I did Shotokan. I guess I was about 19 or 20 years old, and I did Shotokan down there, and I actually paid for that. I remember, I think it was about you know, $89 a month I paid oh. so, down in Florida. But then, you know, over the years, I, got, I met people that did martial arts, and they would they would train me and we would train and would be uh, no cost almost very little cost and so uh but martial arts is free right now you go online yeah. if i have a question about martial arts i could go right online i go to youtube and i could look at karate forms from various martial arts systems i could look at strikes kicks throws chokes arm bars uh, leg locks everything yeah. available on the internet YouTube free free <laughs> so so we have martial arts schools in our neighborhood around the world charging fees for martial arts so what do you actually pay for if martial arts is free hmm yeah the actual instructor teaching you ah that's it. Somebody you know is not like the internet. Yes. Pieces, yeah. Yes. That's it. Smart. Very smart. Access to the instructor that teaches. A yeah. qualified, experienced instructor that knows the martial art and is trained, has the skill set to teach, pass on that knowledge. And it's funny. I was thinking about that. I'm wondering if people think they're paying for the actual martial art or are they paying to have access to the teacher. Because I know when I was growing up, there was very few places to really, to take martial arts. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I know I grew up in New York City, 
there were places, but they weren't accessible to me because I had no money, you know, and I couldn't really, I couldn't, my, my mom, parents couldn't afford, my mom couldn't afford it, right. and I couldn't afford it, and so it wasn't accessible to me. There was no internet at the time. They had books at the library. I remember I used to go to the library and look at pictures and books, but that was extremely limited, though that's what I did. I would go there, I'd learn a technique, and you know, I'd see the Mac, Black Belt magazine where they had Bruce Lee in it, and that's where I got all my push-ups from. I saw him doing thumb push-ups, so I started doing thumb push-ups. I started doing finger push-ups because I saw Bruce Lee doing finger push-ups. I saw Bruce Lee's round kick, he had good flexibility, and I looked into magazines on flexibility, and then I started doing stretching and got my flexibility. I would see pictures of techniques, and I would mimic those techniques, and that's how I learned. It. But but it was relatively free, and so I'm thinking that when you go to a martial arts school, you are not really paying for the martial art. You're actually paying for access to the instructor that is taking that time to teach you and others martial arts. I think it's pretty cool. Because I, if I could go back, there are people that I, you know, like Bruce Lee. If he had a school and he had, a, you know, all these instructors like Dan Inosanto, all these instructors now that teach, you know, Bruce Lee's method of teaching. Boy, what I would do to uh, to have access to him and his instruction, or or a Guru Inosanto who's still alive and still actively teaching, and. Uh, but he doesn't live in my neighborhood. He doesn't live here. The closest that I can get to a Guru in Osanto is it's up in Prin Princeton. I actually tried. I went I went up there a couple several years ago, wanted to learn, you know, Jun Fan Jeet Kune Do, uh, a system, Bruce Lee system. The only qualified instructor at that time, I don't know, I haven't checked recently, was up in Princeton. And I drove, it was about an hour and 15 minutes to drive up there. And I did it a couple of times, but it wasn't uh, <laughs> it wasn't practical and uh, didn't have access so but uh, but I could go online I can read about and watch videos on Jun Fan Jeet Kune Do and you know and learn it but it's the access to the teacher to the instructor remember the other day someone had asked me another instructor had asked me if I knew any qualified and reputable um, Kali and modern Arnis uh, instructors in this area. Now, uh, they used to be Sensei Les Kiersnowski, my instructor, but he's since moved out. He travels travels a lot, goes to Poland a lot, does his uh, um, workshops, and so he's he's not easily accessible, but I don't know. So, But he was, uh, this instructor was looking for access to an instructor, and he knows he can look for uh, information free martial arts yeah. online so that's what you pay for and I was just thinking I thought that was interesting you know just an interesting for me was an aha moment that's what they're paying they're paying students parents are paying for access to a qualified instructor that can teach them their kids martial arts discipline focus and uh, self-control all the things that come through training in martial arts and so check the instructors and you, there may be schools around you but for you must first visit the instru uh, the school check out the instructor better yet go online and research the instructor see what information is on the internet for the instructor and so uh, that's what you do so anyway that, that was my thought I don't know yeah. what do you think Interesting, not interesting? It's very interesting. Right, yeah. It's, it's access. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. So, with all that being said, I'm putting up, if you haven't noticed already, I'm putting up a lot of videos. I already have hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel. Go to my YouTube channel, Peter Lisiagi. You'll see videos of martial arts techniques up there. But I am going to give all that knowledge that I have in my head away for free through the internet. So... If you have a question about a technique or karate form or anything you think I might know, ask and I'll show it to you. I'll videotape myself or Miss Lissiaga and I will show it to you and we'll even explain how to do it and what you need to do to get better at it for free. 
no cost at all. But of course, if you want to train with us, uh, yeah. have access to us at the karate school, that's going to cost you. <laughs> anyway, we're at DKC, ready to change some lives. You guys have a great day. Look forward to seeing you guys on the mats, hopefully. Other than that, guys, enjoy your day. See ya. Funny face. I'm <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs>